is there any way to optimize the taxation of dividends from U.S. companies to reduce the 30% withholding due to the missing DTA between the U.S. and the UAE? DTA, d- double tax treaty or double tax agreement between the U.S. and the UAE. I'm assuming, Luca, that you're not a U.S. person because uh, if you are a U.S. person and they do withhold 30%, you should tell them that you are a U.S. person. And it goes back to the point that I made earlier in responding to someone else that you should be giving them a W-9 if you are a U.S. person, which discloses your your social. Or if you're working through an entity, your EIN, and you confirm to them, hey, I am a U.S. person, do not withhold. Just give me gross. And when I'm doing my tax return, I'm going to treat it right. So that's if you were a U.S. person. If you're not a U.S. person and you and you're right, there is no double tax agreement with the UAE. Then there's no way normally of reducing that thirty percent withholding. So dividends from U.S. companies. So it's it's. It falls under treatment that's called FDAP, fixed determinable annual and periodic. So payments that are deemed to fall under FDAP, which would include your dividends, your interest, maybe royalties, basically what we consider passive income, generally speaking. I'm sorry, but it's going to be subject to 30% withholding. And if you live in a, a non-treaty jurisdiction, there's very little, if anything, you can do. There's nothing you can do to reduce it. So I'm sorry, but I hope that answers your question. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.